Welcome everybody, it's Steph from KillerSites.com and KillerPHP. So in this video, I'm going to go off of programming and web design, but I'm going to show you something very useful. If you are a Google Gmail user, uh, Gmail is pretty flexible and has all kinds of extra capabilities. So I'm going to show you how to create, so I'm going to show you how to create something like a web email. So anyway, first things first. Now, you don't have to look at me anymore, so let's fly off the screen. Now, let's go to settings. There we go. And then you go to labs. And in labs, you want to look for canned responses, this thing right here. And this is going to allow you to set up uh, an email template or two or three or four or many more. Uh, I'll just read it. Email for the truly lazy. See, that's that's good for me. Save and then send your common messages using a button next to the Compose form. Also automatically send emails using filters. Well, I never use that, but I know the first part. So we're going to learn the first part. So you enable it by selecting, uh, well, togging, toggling the radio button here. And once that's selected, just go to Compose. And down here in the bottom corner here, this Can Responses menu item is going to appear. So you see I have a few already. But what you need to do is you need to, if you're going to create a new one from scratch, you type in your message, my message. So you could be just some standard stuff with your footer and I don't know, it depends what you're doing, you know. I'll show you mine afterwards. And then you go back to your can responses. Oops. And then you're going to select new canned response. And that will save a brand new one. So you go right here. And then I'm going to say indicate rather new canned response and we go okay so now it's there and you can send off your email you can cancel it but now it's most importantly it's saved as a canned response so if i compose again i go back canned response and you see it right at the top insert you want to so you got three sub menus insert save and delete when you're inserting a canned response you want to select from your insert menu because you certain if you if you go under the save menu you're going to overwrite one of your saved canned responses with whatever you have in the page so right now it'd be a blank uh, a blank page which wouldn't be good so i'm just going to in, and then you of course you can delete them down here so i'm just going to uh, insert my new canned response and you see my message just comes up right here but that's kind of boring let me show you one of my big ones so i go can responses, insert, number two, boom. See all this? All perfectly formatted, ready to go. So if you're sending consistent emails over and over again, the canned response is quite nice, in fact. So I'm just going to go back in here now, and I'm just going to delete this one I'm not going to use. Are you sure you want to delete this canned response? And I go, yeah, sure. And uh, let's go back. Can response and you see it's no longer present. I hope you found this video interesting.